If for some reason you're having a difficult time getting your BT-105 paired with your iPad via the Bluetooth connection or with another Bluetooth equipped Mac or PC computer, there's a way to reset the Bluetooth network settings. Let's go ahead and start off by uh, making sure that the BT-105 is turned off. Okay, we're going to work with the iPad right now in this example. I'm going to show you how to change or reset the iPad's Bluetooth network settings. Let's go and press the home button here. Go into the settings option. All right. Now over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my general settings. Make sure I'm in my general settings. You're going to see a whole column of options over here. Let's scroll down a bit until you see this button on the bottom that says reset. Tap on that, you'll go to another window, and in the middle you see an option that says Reset Network Settings. Tap on this. Okay? This will delete all network settings, turning them to false. So any Wi-Fi passwords you have for your routers will have to be re-entered after this reboot. This will also clear the Bluetooth cache settings. Okay? So let's go ahead and tap on Reset, and your iPad will reboot itself. So I'm going to come back as soon as it's finished rebooting, and we'll finish the uh, process for resetting your BT-105's Bluetooth network settings. Okay, we're back. We've just finished rebooting the iPad. Let's go ahead and get into it. And now let's go into our BT-105. Now, it's, As I said, you have to make sure it's turned off first. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Push the power button in for about a second. Okay. After turning it on, I'm going to repress the power button and hold it for about six seconds. I'm going to press and hold this power button. Ready? Ready? Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see the red and green lights flashing back and forth? That tells me that the BT-105 has just refreshed or reset its own Bluetooth network settings. Okay, so now after having done that, let's go back to our settings. I've moved my settings option to my dock over here. Let's go into Bluetooth. Make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Okay, and after a few moments, it should actually automatically repair itself. If for some reason it's not doing so, go into here. This is the air turn. You can see the serial number, air turn 105 version, and you can see the version number. This is 122, and then its own unique serial number. If for some reason it's still not pairing, you can try to go into this little blue button right next to the word that says connected. Go ahead and tap on forget this device. Okay, and what you can do is try. And they'll say right now it's not paired because it's forgotten the pairing settings. You can just try, try tapping this one more time, and it'll re-attempt to pair with the BT-105. So that's another option in case it doesn't recognize the BT-105 right away. So just give it a few moments, and it should recognize it. You can see now it's connected over here. Okay, let's go ahead and just test this out. Let's go into one of our music apps. I have a folder I've created. Go ahead and open that. I'm going to go in this pedal. Okay. And let's try turning some pages. There you go. As you can see, it's working just fine. Now, the process is pretty similar if you're working with a Bluetooth equipped Mac or PC computer. Again, turn off the BT-105. Try to remove the pairing that may, if it exists on your uh, laptop or your desktop computer, remove the pairing if it exists for the air turn. Uh, and then try to reboot your computer and then turn on the BT-105 and perform the same network settings by turning the power button on and then holding this power button for about six seconds. And that should help you to reconnect with your Bluetooth-equipped Mac or PC computer.